Hello everyone, welcome back to Civil Engineering Academy. My name is Marina and today I'm going to be solving a problem for your PE transportation exam. The problem states like this. The Federal Highway Administration defines spiral as curves that transition between a circular curve with a specific radius and degree of curvature and a straight tangent. The radius and sharpness of a spiral curve increase uniformly along its length. A highway project has the following characteristics. The minimum acceptable length for the spiral curve is most nearly. Given the design speed of 65 miles per hour, horizontal curve radius 1,475 feet. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to open our Ashto Green Book on page 376. And we're going to look in the section for the minimum length of spiral. And we're going to see two equations, equation um, 3 that's 27 and equation 3-28. Equation 3-27 uh, states that the minimal length for the spiral is equal to the square root of 24 times whole minimum times r. Uh, this is the minimum lateral offset between the tangent and the circular curve, and our uh, Ashto Green Book defines whole minimum equals 0 0.6060 feet. And uh, the other equation that we're going to be using says that the minimum length for the spiral is equal 3.15 times v cubed divided by the radius times c. c is the maximum rate of change in lateral acceleration and our Ashto Green Book defines c is at 4 feet per second cubed. Okay, um, so we're going to calculate um, the length of the spiral for both of these equations and our L as minimum uh, should be the largest between these two. So let's go ahead and calculate for equation 3-27. Uh, so we have that um, our L as minimum will be the square root of 24 times 0 0.66 times 1,475. And this is equal 152.85 feet. Now let's calculate for equation 3-28. We're going to have that our um, minimum length of spiral is going to be equal 3.15 times 65 cubit divided by 1,475 feet times the C, which is 4. Uh, feet per, per second cubed, and this will give us 146.62 feet. And Ashto Green Book says that the LS minimum should be the larger of these two values. So in this case, we got that our LS minimum is equal 152.85 feet. And this is approximately 153 feet. That gives us the correct answer, alternative D. Thank you, and I see you next time.